Hey, what's up guys? It's Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're gonna be working in Lutz, Florida. We're gonna be doing a roof cleaning and a mobile home wash. I haven't done a mobile home wash in a very long time, man. Probably sure, over a year and a half. So um, this lead was actually sent to me by my man, John Rosado. He also uh, pressure washes and undo roof cleaning, but uh, he's not full time yet. So he was at work, so he sent the lead to me. So. We're gonna take care of this customer here. It's not too bad as far as the um, the siding. A couple of sides are bad, but a couple of them is not that bad. The roof, uh, I need I need to blow the um, blow all the debris off, and then I'm gonna soft wash it. We're probably like around a five percent mix, five six percent mix. It is a shingle roof. It's not the vinyl or TPO roof. So let's go check this job out. But guys, I want to thank y'all for all the support. I hope y'all having a good holiday season. And uh, y'all stay safe out there. So let's go check the job out. All right, so this is the mobile home here. Got some algae growing over here on this siding. Over here, got a little bit of lichen growing. Back here is pretty heavy. Uh, we are gonna downstream it. Um, I know I'm gonna have some leftover, uh, five percent in my hose. If I need to treat any like heavy spots, I can do that with. Um, I, I will have a second job today as well, which is a roof cleaning. So we got two roof cleanings today. You see, we got the dirty uh, drip edge. Get that all cleaned up. All right, guys, this is the roof here. It's pretty bad. That's supposed to be the color of the roof right there. God said he gets it done once a year. <laughs> I don't know if he uh, can get this bad in a year. I mean, he is surrounded by trees, but this is pretty heavy. So, we're gonna do our, our magic and bring it back to life. I'm gonna blow off all this uh, debris so we can uh, make sure we got plenty of SH on the shingles. Yeah, definitely gonna use a 6% on this. I put gas in it. Right. I say, I say, we'll help if I put gas in it.
right guys, so we got the roof blown off. I went down that wooden um, steps on both sides just in case. Um, we got a little overspray on them. I will water them down again and rinse them off. It's actually dirty, so I gotta clean them anyway, but I got some water on them just to make sure that, you know, we don't spot those up just in case, just to be safe. So now we're gonna spray our mix on there. I'll put y'all back on the head mount. Got done spraying this side here. We're gonna let it soak up and do its thing. It's turning colors what we want. Uh, we're not rinsing the roof. We don't rinse roofs. I don't rinse roofs. You can if you want to. I don't rinse the roof. I just let it sit, do its work, and then when it rains, everything will just fall off. It's not gonna damage the shingles if it doesn't rain anyway. It just may take longer for the spots to go away, the heavy spots, but I always spray them twice if they're left over to make sure they're dying before I leave. So we're gonna let that do its thing and then we're gonna treat this side here. So now the other side is sprayed. Um, I'm just gonna go down and start washing the house. Um, it's uh, it takes time, you know, to work so you can see what you got. So there's no need to rush it. I'm gonna leave the gun up here, wash the house. I'm gonna come back up here. You know, you gotta see what it looks like now. 
for the most part everything over here is already going away so we're just gonna let it dwell do the uh do the bubble home wash and we'll come up back up here and do a, a second look to see what it looks like see if we got to touch anything else up so let's get down and get this thing going i've been here for for about i don't know maybe a little bit over 30 minutes so making good time all right so we're gonna start the house wash from this corner here and then we're gonna wrap all the way around maybe to the back end over there um so when i come to rinse i can come back from back there and come up to the front and all the hoses will be right here and i can um go ahead and wrap them up so it's easier stick it you guys just enjoy the video guys today I'm not using a lot of surfactant I just got um, a new batch of SH I didn't add any uh, surfactant to it yet so that's why it's not super soapy <laughs> normally it will be I think I may have enough hose to wrap all the way around to that corner so then I can just wrap around all the way and rinse at once my truck is parked kind of far and I didn't want to put an extra 50 foot of hose on there so I think uh, we should be good see oh yeah we'd be good yeah we'd be good yes sir I'm gonna hit this step for him. Door is pretty bad. Some of this stuff at the bottom look like it's very thick. I don't know if I, I don't know if downstream will take it away, but we'll find out. Oh yeah, we made it. We made it. We'll be able to rinse all the way around. If you guys are enjoying the content guys drop me a like please just like the video if you want to comment you can leave a comment as well i appreciate all the support i get from you guys we just hit two million views too man two million views on my channel that's crazy that two million views 
All right, so we just got done spraying now. We can just chill for a little bit. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Yeah, looking good. Check out this side here. I know that drip hair is gonna need a little extra rinse, but look at that. Thing just <laughs> coming off like butter. Shout out to my man Brad, Brad Barker. My man said, man, drop the cash phrase, bring it back. <laughs> oh, look at that, man. I just want. Even this stuff came off. I thought I was gonna have to use the uh, software system. I don't know. This stuff look, look kind of thick over here. Yeah, this stuff is kind of thick. Yeah, we need some some more some more on that one right there. But we got the soft wash hose. I'll spray that. A couple couple minutes it'll come off. This side is still dwelling. So I'm gonna give it some more time. Yeah, this stuff will come off easy. Yeah, pretty good. Give it some dwell time. So in the meantime, let's go up, let's go up top and check out the roof, see how it's doing. Should be good too, let's see. All right, this is the top here. Looking pretty good. A couple of these little dark spots, I go ahead and spray again one more time so they can die all the way. But for the most part, you can see a big difference from what we're looking like when we first got here this morning. We got here about 8.45, so. This is looking pretty good. Yeah, I just go ahead and uh, hit those little dark spots one more time, and uh, we'll be good on this roof here. All right, guys, we're prepared to rinse now. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Enjoy.
All right, y'all, everything is wrapped up. Looking good, let's go check it out. So we're gonna start here. Everything is washed. Came out great, I sprayed the bottom with the 5%, 6%. Came out good. Drip edge, it's pretty filthy. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. I'm just doing a walk walk through video. Please do. Yes, sir. Back here was pretty rough, but you guys can see. That's what I'm talking about. Took about an hour, like an hour and 15 minutes to do everything, including the roof. Got the front steps and the back steps done. That's it guys. Man, I've been looking for a truck. I want to buy a truck so bad, man. Not for work, just like a work, uh, you know, just for a regular truck they have. And I think I just found one, y'all. All white with a black top. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make him an offer. Uh, it's pretty stylish, wouldn't you say? <laughs> uh, you guys we're at the second job we're back in Tampa right now we're gonna be doing a uh, partial roof cleaning partial house wash <laughs> customer doesn't want the whole roof to be clean so we're just gonna do the partial house wash I mean a uh, partial roof and then we got one side of the house we're gonna wash we got some algae on it this is a returning customer last time I was here I just did their patio in the back uh, we did the uh, driveway as well so if you guys follow the channel, you probably recognize this house. So let me show you guys what it looks like. So this was the deck we did about a month and a half ago. We were here and we did out here in the back. So back here, we're gonna be washing just the fascia over here in this corner. Right here, got some green on it. We're gonna clean that fascia right there. We're gonna clean the wall over here. Got some algae on it as well. You can see it right here along the wall. Get that cleaned up. And then we're doing uh, the front side of the roof that faces the street which you guys can see right here how bad that is so we're gonna treat that that driveway is looking good still me and my boy steven did this together and then uh we'll be cleaning this side of the roof let me see if i can step back and show you guys you can see we got some dark dark stains right there and one way in the back as well. So those are the two sides we're gonna clean. I'm gonna go ahead and water these plants down. They don't look like this plants, it's more so like bush, like uh, weeds and stuff, but I don't know, man. Some people get sentimental about the weeds. <laughs> so we'll water those down before we start. And then we'll go up there and uh, spray those two sides and we'll come down and um, water them down again and then uh, do the wall in the back uh, on the side. All right, we're gonna get started now.
right, guys, so 15 minutes don't went by. I uh, sprayed his whole backside already. And um, you can see all the black marks are starting to go away. I came from that way, so those are fitting faster than these ones. So in the meantime, I'm letting this dwell. I'm gonna go back down, drench all those uh, <laughs> weeds and whatever is over there, bushes. And um, I'm gonna go hit that wall. I'll come back up here, see what it looks like. You can see that big spot that was right here full of algae is already dying as well. We're not rinsing the roof, so all that will just fall away. I already touched this up one more time so far. So it should be pretty much dead. All right, let's get down there and get that wall washed. Stream. We're gonna let this uh, dwell so we can get rid of that, those uh, algae spots. He has a lot of mud daubers, man. That was not part of the cleaning. I'll get him as much uh, as best as possible, but I will not be over here scrubbing 30 mud daubers. <laughs> those things, you gotta put in some time into them, man. But yeah, I can see it's fading away already. You guys can see it. So we're gonna give it some dwell time. Um, we go check up on the on the on the roof now and see how it looks. All right, up here it's all squared away. Like I said, we don't rinse, so I got some shadow. That's not algae, it's shadow from the tree. But uh, big difference from how we started. Tomorrow we're supposed to get some good, good rain. Everything will be dead, super dead by then. And um, everything will come off easy. Over here is dead as well. what we want. All right, let's get down and rinse the wall. Take a peek, see what we got. I just got done pulling my hoses. I just gotta pull out my um put up my uh pressure hose. So before I put this ladder up, we'll take a little peep up here. Yes, sir. That super light spot right there, that's where all the algae was. That's that's dying away. Everything's gonna be evenly um squared tomorrow. Once we we'll get that good rain, it's 100% chance. So we'll definitely be getting rain. Let's 
show you guys the other side. This is the other side here. That was pretty bad. And uh, that wall. All cleaned up. Those marks are from them, not me. <laughs> Those are not from me. It's a different color paint down there. And then back here I did the, the little fascia. And that little spot of the algae that was right there. Yes, sir. All right, you guys, what I said for the day, I'm done. Quite early too, man. 12, 18. What I'm gonna do with my life? Nah, I'm kidding. I'm gonna go to the gym. <laughs> All right, y'all. I hope y'all y'all had a good time watching me work today. I make sure you like, uh, leave a comment, and uh, subscribe to the channel. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Peace.